Hello, my friends, and welcome to another tutorial from the desk of Affinity on iPad with Emmy. Today, I want to show you how you can design your own flyer. And in this tutorial, we shall be using some images that I've already downloaded from Pixel. And as you can see, they are invisible in the layers panel. So follow the link in the description box to download the images. Now, set the two background images in place. Go to Command Menu and tap on Convert to Curve to introduce nodes to the four corners of the images. And with the node tool selected, select the edges and trim to fit the document page. Do the same with the second image. And let's bring you the photo of the pasta we are using. So this is the photo. And for the purpose of saving time, we shall be using this one. It's already cut out. And this is the light flare. Now let's get started. Select the cloud background and add an HSL adjustment layer to turn it to grayscale. Tap on ranges and bring saturation down to negative 100. Also add adjustment exposure adjustment layer and set exposure between 1.0 and 1.2 yes between 1.0 and 1.2 will be good next let's make the abstract background visible and drag below the adjustment layers. This background, after applying the adjustment, shows a flow from above, and that is what we want to achieve. Now apply linear bond and reduce opacity to about 60%. And let's go back to the exposure. And increase the exposure to 1.17 and now let's bring in the pastor and what we want to do now is to click the exposure as a child layer to the cloud background because that is where it is needed and tap on the HSL adjustment and increase the luminance to about 36% with these settings I think the, the background is now cool and nice next is to paste the text from clipboard to begin the process of how to best communicate the information the title is the main message, it should be the focal point, therefore it should be the boldest. So for the main text, let's choose Impact 2.0 and we are choosing this text, this font, for its bold nature and for the rendering aspect of it. To pick the next text, that is D, choose the font called the Jacqueline and also make it big set in place and apply color red let's arrange in place and give it proper alignment and then with the gradient tool let's apply some color to the top of the text range just at the top tap the pick tool in the color studio to pick color on the chair of the pastel and use for the gradient it's not going to be too conspicuous just faintly at the top of the range so let's move the slider I think that should be good now let's go to the layer effect studio and apply outer glow to the text in red Set radius to about 75 pixels. Mm. 
bring in the life layer and applies clean blend mode and reduce opacity to about 80 percent now reposition the text in red a little above the flare will be good And please note that all the remaining text will be in the font called Cochin and sizes will be set between 11 and 14 points while the date 29 and the time 9 should be 25 points. Take your time in arranging them very well, considering alignment. Now highlight the date 29th and make it uh, 25 points also 9 enlarge it make it 25 points and change the color to the shade of the pasta that is good now before we continue let's organize the layers into groups and name them so group all the layers of the title and name it main title. Group the two background layers and name it background images. Select the date and time and name it date and time. Now move the Bible reference and the light flare into the main title group. Also move the address and rectangular bar into the group named time and date. The next thing now is to add a pixel layer. And please note that I have some free brushes I already downloaded into the brushes studio. So pick the paintbrush tool and tap on a similar brush that you have. Then paint where the effect is needed and make it however you want it to look. You may do it as many times as you like until you get exactly what you desire. I think this is okay. Even the first one was okay.
Now, also note that I have some social media icon in PNG that I already have in my asset studio. So let's bring them in into the document one by one and put them in place. That should be okay. Now let's make adjustment here and there to make the whole thing look better. Let's increase the, the title and rearrange all the text, putting them in proper alignment. Now let's add Vignette. Add vignette to the background and set exposure to 100 and hardness to 80. And let's look at what that gives us. And I think it's okay. That should be okay. Just to create some depth at the center of the old design. I think that is okay. Now bring in a flying dove. You may look for that online. A lot, a lot of it are there. So bring in the flying dove, place it at the top, like the spirit descending from above, and go to Effect Studio, tap on outer glow, and set radius to about 76 pixel. Now I want a reflection of the light on the pastors here. So go to the adjustment studio and add a color. The red color is okay. So clip it as a chart layer to the pastors layer and in the layers option, click the plus sign to add mask. Go to Chanel Studio and invert the mask. Pick the paintbrush with color white and set opacity and flow to 50% and hardness to zero. And gently apply the color to the part of the air close to the light. And it looks like it's too strong. So reduce your opacity to about 60%. And I think this is good. Yes, that is good. Also, let's try another brush type for this background. This is also good. Like the other ones, this is also good. So let's leave it like this. Let's bring it down a little. I reset everything. Now it looks like I forgot to change the font of the date, time, and location to Koshin. So let's correct that very quickly. Let's change all from area to Koshin.
now type the pastor's name and use the Jacqueline font and place it on the arm of the pastor. That is looking nice there. Now select the pixel layer and add shadow to it. Add shadow to the pixel layer. That is looking good. While working on uh, the font, we have mistakenly reduced the 29, the date, and the time. So let's bring it up back to 25 points. Let's also make it bold. Coaching bold. The date and time. I think we should increase the space in between the social media icons. Let's do that quickly. Let's group all together and increase the size just a little. And looking at the white background, the shadow is looking too strong. So let's go back to Effect Studio and reduce it. And with this, we come to the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.